Hey everyone, welcome back. We got another one for you today, another stimulus update for Thursday, June 25th. As always, if you subscribe to the channel, welcome back. If you haven't, consider subscribing. We keep things real simple here. I just give you the most important updated news stories about the stimulus. And then at the end of the video, I update a chart which shows you the percentage chance you have of seeing another $1,200 stimulus payment or a different type of stimulus based on the news. So I have two different things I wanna share with you. Number one is gonna be a Hill article that I just went through, which is finally giving you information I was giving you weeks ago that I wanna go through. And then lastly, I want to share with you those individuals who are in Republican leadership who are most for another stimulus for you and those who are least for it and kind of show you what that means. I know a lot of people want me to talk about Democrats, but the Democrats are already for it. They put it in their bill already. So there's not much really to talk about there. I mean, yes, some Democrats throw out these $2,000 a month plans that I could talk about more if you wanted me to, but the reality of that happening is so low, it would really just be a waste of your time. So the Democrats are already for the $1,200 stimulus payment, but what about those Republican leaders? Where do they fall on a scale of those who are least likely to support it and those who are most likely to support it? I am going to show you that in just a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and talk about the Hill report that just came out today. The next COVID-19 bill depends on the June jobs report. I've been telling you guys about this for the last couple of weeks, telling you to put it on your calendar. There it is. Thursday, July 2nd is when that June jobs report comes out. By the way, they are going to survey individuals for the minimum amount of time, 10 days. Usually they do it between 10 and 16 days. The June's job report is going to be the least amount of days Days possible that they're going to survey people. So it's not going to be particularly reliable this month, but it's likely that the numbers are probably going to be good. At least it looks like they're going to be good because things are reopening. And so you can see the Hill report here and they're reporting this now. We've been telling you this for weeks and they say the looming jobs report for June is poised to make or break the Senate's next coronavirus relief bill. And the Labor Department is going to reveal next week whether the U.S. economy was able to carry a surprisingly high May hiring surge into June and strengthen the recovery. And so they go on and they say basically if the June jobs report is really good, that's going to crush the hopes for you know more stimulus and a really big stimulus payment. But if it's bad, then that'll basically ensure that it happens. Here's the thing. Their report is saying that the next COVID-19 bill depends on it. I don't think it depends on it. I do think that it's important. I think that people are going to take it into consideration. I don't think it depends on it because there's more factors at play than just those jobs reports. There's the unemployment reports that keep coming out. There's nearly 40 million people who are unemployed. We're seeing more and more every single week. There's the coronavirus numbers that are coming out, and those are starting to rise. Not only the new infections, but also the death rates, which we need to talk about, not in today's episode, but in a further episode, because that really matters. If you want to hear about that, subscribe to the channel. It makes a difference, and it's going to impact the next stimulus payment and even some perhaps further on down the line if we continue to see some of these rising rates. So there you go. The Hill is finally reporting on the importance of the June job numbers, which will be released on July 2nd, which is a Thursday. Put it on your calendar, although they overstate the importance, unfortunately. Here's our next story. I want to highlight for you where every Republican leader stands as far as their support for another stimulus bill or not. So here it is. Take a look at the chart there. You can see all the way on the left side of the chart is going to be those who who are least likely to support a stimulus bill and those who are on the right side of the chart are more likely. And so on the left side, we have guys like Larry Kudlow, who's the director of the National U.S. Economic Council and also uh, an economic strategist and counselor directly to Donald Trump. Every time this guy comes out, he's just shady. He just, I don't know. I don't get a good vibe from him a lot of times. I mean, he does seem like he's a smart guy economically. Uh, I think he should stay off the medical news so much because he's been talking about that lately. But he just seems like to me, he's not really for the average American person. He's looking to make sure businesses are doing well. So he's definitely not for when I say next stimulus, I mean a direct payment to Americans. Pat Toomey, he came out and he said literally this when asked, he's by the way, a senator from Pennsylvania. So he's going to be directly voting and 
putting together the new bill. He said, I'm a skeptic about doing that when specifically talking about another direct payments to Americans. That was an emergency measure taken when we were in full blown crisis and frankly knew it was wildly inefficient because all kinds of people were getting checks whose work was not jeopardized. So that's a statement from this guy. All right. Then we have Mitch McConnell, who's a little bit over more now. Mitch McConnell hasn't been voicing his opinion too much, but we know that he threw out a figure, a one trillion dollar figure. That figure is simply not going to be high enough to get more direct payments to Americans. So that's why he's off to the left. In the middle here, we have Steven Mnuchin and Kevin Hassett. Now, we know Kevin Hassett's going to be leaving toward the end of summer. Kevin Hassett, the uh, senior economic advisor to Trump, and Steven Mnuchin is the U.S. Secretary of the Treasury. Both of these guys have come out over the months saying that they are very seriously considering another stimulus payment to the American people, that these deals look like they're going to happen, and it's something that we need to be really looking into. And they've been fairly unbiased on it. And that's why they're in the middle there. Then we have Peter Navarro, who's an economic advisor to Trump, very close economic advisor to Trump. He's the guy who came out and listed the $2 trillion number, which was right in between Mitch McConnell's $1 trillion and Nancy Pelosi's $3 trillion number. So that $2 trillion is a good thing. It leaves space in there for money to the American people. Then we have on the far right, Jerome Powell and Donald Trump. Regardless, if you love him or you hate him, Donald Trump has really been one of the guys who's been coming out. And when he's asked directly, is there going to be more stimulus payments to the American people? He's answering yes consistently. Now, he does also seem like he dodges things a little bit and then he shifts focus to something else. But he's on camera. He's on interview saying yes, multiple times that he is in favor and wants more stimulus payments to the American people. He could be going out there and saying no, but he's not. Now, you could take that as him just lying or him just trying to get votes or something like that. That's up to you. There is also some pretty good information out there that many people are advising him to give out the stimulus payments to the American people because it would be beneficial for his election uh, or his re-election coming up in November, if that's going to happen. And then Jerome Powell, who is the chair of the Federal Reserve, if there is one guy who's been trying to get the economy going more than anyone else, it's definitely this guy. Now, he's not in charge of the Congress. He's in charge of the Federal Reserve, but he's been voicing his opinion out there saying, guys, we can go ahead and do this. We can spend more money. He's been encouraging the Congress to spend more money. He's been telling them that inflation is low. A lot of the reasons why people don't want to spend money is because they think it can cause inflation. But right now, we're actually in a low inflationary period. It, they're trying to actually raise it a little bit by spending some money. So he's trying to encourage them to give more stimulus. These are your guys in Republican leadership. Again, not Democratic leadership because we already know where the Democrats stand. They put forth their proposal. They want another $1,200 direct payment to the American people. It's right now waiting on the Republicans. So going forward, the next important date you need to know about, July 2nd, which is a Thursday. It's next week. Put that on your calendar. The June job numbers are coming out. I will release an episode on that day telling you exactly what they mean. So again, subscribe if you'd like to hear that. And then we got a big vacation coming up for the Senate in which they're going to go home and do whatever they're going to do. They're going to come back on July 20th to finally get this thing going. So things are going to start to heat up fairly soon. Not soon enough, obviously. People need help. Uh, I reported to you in my last video that a little over 4 million people did not pay their mortgages in May. 4 million. That is an 8% rate. That is unbelievably high. That's the highest in about 10 years, okay? So this is what we're talking about. People do need help, and unfortunately, they're going to go on vacation for a while. They're going to come back, but things are heating up a little bit. They're going to start to heat up more and more as we get closer. So again, consider coming along with us in the channel. I'm going to be reporting all this stuff, keeping you guys up to date. And when they do finally pass this thing, and I believe they will, then the dates are going to come out. When are you going to get your payment? What if you have any problems? How do you take care of that? We will keep you up to date on that as well. Hope you guys found the information valuable today. As always, we will catch you guys next time.